What is it that draws us out on an early Saturday morning? Is it the experience of vertical versus forward, back, left, or right? Is there something about flight that's addictive? I think so. That we can't wait for the next experience, that new destination, the adventure of seeing things that, for those which are earthbound, will never see or know that they even exist. We get to see the world from an angle or a view that is unique, whether from 500 feet or 5,000. It is all breathtaking to be part of as a pilot and an aircraft owner. Opening up the hangar and pulling out 1191 Mike brings a joy of being truly blessed to fly this magic machine. Today we're going to fly the valley for a bit and then off to Merced to shoot a VFR practice ILS to check out the autopilot after some work that was just completed. So come along with me, ride along as we take to the sky. Hope the scenery and the view of the video does it justice. If you have the desire to learn to fly, do it. You will never be the same. Even starting later in life, heck, I'm 63 and enjoy the thrill of flight. It is never too late to start. Come along on our flights in Northern California and someday soon beyond. Enjoy the ride in November 1191 Mike and hopefully see why it is for the love of flight. Temperature 18 Celsius, dew point 9 Celsius, altimeter 3017 inches of mercury. Tracy Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation 1800 Zulu. Wind variable at 3 knots. Well, that's cool. So here we are. All the cameras are still going, not too hot. The 1080 on these things doesn't seem to overheat them like recording in 2.7 or 4K. So, 1080, 60 frames has that 
quality look that I like. Um, it's not like doing things in uh, 2.7K because you can see that with the motion over the ground, but um, it also makes the video files much smaller, much easier to manipulate in, um, in Final Cut. So one of the things that they ended up doing is now with the update, I can select this and go over to GPS source. This is on GPS 1. I can hit it and it automatically ties into GPS 2. Um, and these are ind not independent, but they are um, independent of this. And so if we, you know, look at the sources, we go back to GPS 1. This is all the way back to GPS 1 now. So and then it tells you. Um, one of the cool things that it does, um, before we get off the ground, let's do this. Uh, let's just say we, we want to go to uh, Columbia. So we'll say direct to, we will send to the panel. We've got a flight plan here. Enter, activate, enter. Go back to the flight plan screen. So now we've got the single magenta line on this. Um, let's see if we can get, I think those things are as bright as they're going to go. So, but if we switch over to GPS 2, it ends up doing double lines on it so that it differentiates between GPS 1 and GPS 2. Right downward for 3 0. So we'll go back. There it is, single line. GPS one again. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and clear this flight plan. All right, flaps are up. We are leaned for taxi. Temperatures are coming up. Oil pressure is good. Oil temperature is not coming up yet because it's a whopping. 61 degrees outside. Oh, I don't know. It's gotten up to 67. Whoopee. So, so spent the day up in Columbia, uh, having them do the updates and tying the radios and everything together. Um, had them look at the uh, marker beacon and see what's going on with that, and um, everything seems to be okay. So. Not needed for an approach, but I do like stuff to work, so that's just me. I like everything to work. Okay, brakes are set. Fuel is set to both. Trace traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is taking 30 left downwind departure, Tracy. Mixture in, carb heat in, trim set for takeoff. One of the things I noticed since the vortex generators went on, um, I just don't have to pull much on the, um, the yoke uh, to get this thing flying because they produce, you know, that extra lift at slower speeds. So here we go on the roll. Got our heading bug set to three zero. Trace traffic, Cessna 8276 Echo, taxi from Skyview 2, runway 30 via Delta Bravo, trace traffic. There we go, airspeed's alive, we are 47, 48, 49, 50. And we're up. Hand on the throttle. Everything looks good as far as temperatures and gauges. Trace traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is left crosswind off the of 30 Tracy. Climbing through 600. Trace traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike going into the downwind off the of 30, going to be departing the area to the southeast. Tracy traffic.
with the blowing today and the winds aloft, that's probably why they're allowing them to burn so that it can blow everything down to Bakersfield. In Fresno, gears are popping. Everything still seems to be on, so this is good. So, but these are the mornings that, um, or days that, um, you know, just aviation is just, it's wonderful because, you know, you just get to go and see things and see places that you, um, at driving in a car, will never get to see. And why do we do it? Well, one reason is we can. And the other reason is it's kind of in our blood that uh, aviation flying is just um, something that gets in you and I don't know if it ever gets out. Transponder on there. Updrafts here. Doing 103 ground speed. Throttles pulled back to about 24. Another little updraft. Goodness. Trace traffic, 76 Echo, left crosswind, 30, trace traffic. So it looks up a little bit higher that um, since the smoke is not there, that there's probably a pretty good wind at the top layer of that smoke. So we're at uh, 2080, we're going to do altitude select for 2,000 feet, altitude, and we'll put her into heading mode on the autopilot, see how we track. And we'll put her into nav mode, and we're turning. And you can feel the wind. And we'll be following the magenta line. Traffic, sir, it's 105, Papa Golf. It's uh, 10 miles to the west, to the, uh, entering left, 30. So we're picking back up the magenta line here. And we'll do probably a little bit of a turn. Done. 
So the localizer intercepts 2,000 feet, so we're at 2,000, so I think we'll just fly down there and pick it up. Fast forward. See where we are on the map there and how that looks as far as the um, intercept. 2.1 miles now. So we'll get a message coming up that it's going to execute a turn. So it preempted the turn to give us a nice smooth turn. And so there we go. And it's going to roll us out on a zero two heading it looks like at Chawa or Chawa now it already had it swung localizer into place so now we're lining up with the magenta lines Next fix will be Chawa. So we slowed her down a little bit. And we are 10 miles, so I don't see any other traffic, but we'll give it a call when we get on the uh, inbound course of 304. Set course to 026. That would make sense. Traffic, not to put the circle, is on the middle left sounding for an A30. 
Arthur. We've armed the approach. Said traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is about uh, 12 miles out to the east southeast. We're just doing a practice VFR ILS approach. We'll announce distance as we come inbound. We're set traffic. We're set traffic, that's not supposed to say go. It's turning left base for running 30. Touch and go. That's it. Get down to 2,000 now in vertical speed down. It's going to be a left turn to 304 in nine seconds. And here we go. Going down to 2,000. So we're making the turn. I don't see anything for glide slope that has come in yet, but we'll go ahead and we should be on the localizer. On the approach, we are VNAV VLOG. Now you can see we are at our target altitude. Localizer is on. We are in VLOG mode. Should be picking up the uh, glide slope here pretty quick. It's up at the top. So we are um, underneath it. Seven one five three taxi in from the ramp to runway three zero Merced. Merced traffic Skyhawk ninety one Mike is about ten miles out to the east southeast on a practice VFR ILS approach Merced. Traffic that's not supposed to circle is under open on a street road. The goal left from so we'll see how this does. That course to 304. 304. We are still below the glide slope. Samarty traffic, Bonanza 222 Sierra Mike, Sana practice, RNAV GPS 32 approach, San Martin. But we probably won't pick that up till we get to the initial approach fix at uh, Kupi, which is coming up in 3.7 miles. 3.6 now. Now we've got both of these plugged on so that we'll be able to track the uh, glide slope on both NAV1 and NAV2. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is about seven and a half miles out now to the east southeast at uh, 2,000 feet inbound practice VFR ILS approach. Merced.
So we're picking the glide slope up. It's starting to come in. It will slow us down a little bit. And hopefully when we get to Poopy intersection here, we'll pick up Light slope. Everything's coming in. Hopefully it'll follow her down. Three tenths of a mile, we are at Coopy. Turn into a 304. Just a wee bit of a change. At a waypoint. No marker beacon stuff though. And now we're starting our descent following the ILS. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is five miles out to the southeast on a practice VFR or VFR ILS approach for 30. Merced. It's tracking it and following it. And you can see we are inbound, but haven't gotten any marker beacon tones or anything, so, or lights. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike, four miles out now on a practice ILS VFR approach, 30 Merced. Merced traffic, left the 77153, taking runway 30, departure to the south will be a left down departure to the south. We're tracking, slowing us down. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike, three and a half miles out now on the practice VFR ILS approach, Merced. I think we'll hit the go around button and see what happens for the missed approach. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike, two miles out on the 30 ILS approach into Merced, descending through 900 feet Merced. Track it perfect. Traffic C-323 is 7 mile final, runway 30 Merced. Merced Cessna 77153 on the upwind 30, left downwind departure to the south Merced. Roger that. Uh, and your departure, any other traffic in a Merced between 323? I didn't see anybody except for us and the guy that landed before us. 323, thank you very much. There's a guy on the ILS right now. Uh, traffic on the ILS in Merced, uh, between 323, what is your position? We are just getting ready to do a missed approach. We're going to do a right 360. We are a uh, five mile final runway 30. Merced traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is missed approach off of 30 Merced. Right, uh, 323. We're going to do a right 360 just for caution and uh, we'll come back on the final. We'll take 323 at Merced. Merced, Tesla 77153, left now in runway 30 Merced.
Merced traffic. Skyhawk 91 Mike is uh, on the mist out of Merced, climbing through 500 feet off the end of 30. And we are a beamer left wing right now. Got you in sight, 91 Mike. Take 323, turning a four mile final runway 30 Merced. Worked flawless. So, pretty cool. Let's get rid of this plate. Somehow, some way, where is it? Can't find it. Tracy Direct. Direct two. Send the panel. I see the voyage. And we're flight plan. Enter. Enter. Back to flight plan. 323 is a short final run. CDI, CDI. Have autopilot. Perset traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is now about four miles from the field and we are departing on a uh, 280 heading out of the area, Merced. That's it. Turning into the 45 for downwind. Tracy, runway 30, 6-6-5. Tracy, traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike's on the 45 going into the downwind. Left traffic, 3-0, Tracy. Where are you? I don't, we're not catching you yet. 800 feet midfield in the downwind. Okay, we're keep an eye out. We're, we're on the downwind over the freeway. I am midfield downwind for three zero left traffic. Just to beam the numbers three zero. Nine hundred feet. Caveat six six five. Tracy traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike is left base 30, Tracy full stop. Tracy traffic, Skyhawk 91 Mike, final 30, Tracy full stop. Tracy traffic, Bonanza 6 6 Hawkeye. Now to base wide following the system. Well, that wasn't graceful. Trace traffic, Scott 91 Mike, clear, 3-0. Trace traffic, Ben, is a 6-6 clock, one mile final, 6-6 clocks. 